Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. After the rubber base impression has been plated, it is washed and dried, and the utility wax is very carefully removed. It is important to remove the utility wax so that we can get a accurate registration of the ridge area and adjacent teeth. Liquid monomer is very carefully flowed down into the innermost part of this silver shell. This will allow the Duralay to flow into these recesses very easily. It is important that the Duralay flow down into these recesses accurately without any bubbles. Should a small bubble remain, the silver dye could collapse when you are fabricating the wax pattern or the gold casting. Small increments are added a bit at a time until the entire silver shell is filled with Duralay. When the Duralay reaches the proper consistency then, the dowel pins will be added to the shell. Additional Duralay is placed over the ridge area, and when the Duralay has reached the proper consistency, the dowel pins will be placed in their proper position. And you will note when the Duralay has its proper consistency, the dowel pins will not tip, they will be retained in their proper position. If the Duralay is too thin, the dowel pins will tip or sink to the bottom of the shell. Additional Duralay then can be added over the ridge and in the adjacent teeth. Also loops, paper clips, or washers can be added to the Duralay to aid in retention. The Duralay is set and you will note the loops for retention and the dowel pins in their proper position. Anti-rotation grooves or notches can be placed adjacent to the dowel. The impression has been boxed and you will note small balls of utility wax at the end of the dowel pins. Also the anti-rotation notches. This impression will then be poured in Velmix and then separated. The former tray will be removed by cutting along the blue lines outlined on the former tray. This is done with a separating disc. The former tray will be sectioned, so each section then will be removed easily. Another way of doing this is burning the former tray off and pulling the rubber off with a pair of pliers. It is important when you cut this anterior part that you do not cut through to the dies. This will then be removed and articulated. After removal of the rubber base impression, the individual dies are checked and examined. If they are correct, then the dies will be sectioned. We will be using a Surgident Dilock .0100 saw blade to saw through the Duralay into the Velmic stone. A saw cut will be made on the mesial and distal of each of the dies. When the die has been removed, it will also be trimmed. The case is articulated with shims in the condyles. The occlusion should be double checked to make sure it is correct. You will note the void in the anterior part of this pour-up to allow access to the removable dies. The pins have been removed and the occlusion is checked. If everything is correct, then wax patterns will be made on our removable dies. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.